Hey guys, Cal Torak here. Today, I want to show you one of my favorite gold farms in all of Classic. We are going to Badlands, and we will be farming the Earth Elementals. They have a fast respawn rate and have some incredible loot. Warning, it's a PvP zone, and these mobs are used for quests. These Elementals drop a lot of incredible things. Firstly, the amount of raw gold you get from the Vendor Grays. These mobs drop a lot of useless items that vendor really well. On average from vendoring, I'm getting anywhere from 15 to 20 gold per hour. The real loot we are after though is Elemental Earths and Solid Stone. Elemental Earths are used in a lot of crafting patterns, not only right now, but also at 60. They are selling for 30 silver per on my server, and I get anywhere from 15 to 20 per hour, making an extra 4.5 to 5 gold. Solid Stone price fluctuates a lot on my realm right now, but in general, they are selling anywhere from 50 silver to 1 gold per. On average, I'm getting 100 of these per hour. This, even on its low end of 50 silver per, is making me another 50 gold per hour. But I'm making a lot more than this on average. Add on the fact that these elementals drop a lot of really good BOE blues and BOE epics, this farm is amazing. Easily making over 100 gold per hour right now. I've made over 500 gold today at this farm, and I haven't gotten any good BOEs of note. There is an easy vendor in this zone, straight in the middle of the map. You can vendor at this goblin here. You don't have to worry about long runs for vendoring. Here are the locations of the Earth Elemental spawns, but this is where I'm currently focused on farming. I am able to clear these three locations very quickly, and by the time I clear all three spots, the first spot has fully respawned. I am doing this as Frostbeck. Ice Barrier is very helpful for this farm. The Enraged Earth Elementals hit really hard. And I would be dying a lot without Ice Barrier. Permafrost also makes cutting them super easy. I am doing this as Improved Blizzard spec, but it's not needed for this farm. For runes, I am using Regeneration, Living Flame, Living Bomb, and Spell Power. For the Waste Rune, it doesn't really matter. For the pull, I start by casting Ice Barrier. I will then mount up and start aggroing Earth Elementals. Once I have a few on me, I'll begin to pull the distant ones with Living Bomb. I'll get as many as I can in my reach while avoiding Evade on the first ones I pulled. Once I have them all pulled, I will cast Regen, Living Flame, and wait for them to get perfectly clumped up by backpedaling them to get them the stack. Once they are clumped up, I will cast Kona Cold and begin to kite them in a circle inside the Living Flame. The Kona Cold Slow will make sure that they are always taking Living Flame damage. The regular Rock Elementals are really easy. You only need to send out one round of Living Bombs and then the Living Flame plus Kona Cold is more than enough to finish them off. The Enraged Rock Elementals are a bit trickier. They are higher level, so they have much more HP and can resist your spells. Not only that, but as their name says, they enrage when they are low health. When they are enraged, they hit really hard, and usually all of them end up enraging around the same time. You can take loads of damage from them, and this can lead to your death. I tend to do small, more controlled pulls for the enraged elementals. I'm going to end this video with 10 minutes of raw footage of this farm. Per usual, with all open world farms like this, your gold per hour will change based off how many people are doing this farm, and the price of solid stone and elemental earth on your realms. I do not know what the long-term price of both Solid Stone and Elemental Earth will be. It is possible the price goes either up or down over time. We'll have to wait and see. As of right now though, I'm easily making over 100 gold per hour on this farm. I recommend doing this farm sooner rather than later. Because before long, it'll be filled with a bunch of mage bots just like Phase 1 farms were. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe. Take care, boys, and make that gold.